Are you not improving at drawing fast enough or do you sometimes have the feeling that you're not getting better at drawing at all? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm going to tell you why that is. And I actually think there are five main reasons for that. The first reason being, you are not practicing often enough. No way. Yeah, but listen to me, it's just how it is. If you're not practicing often enough, your art won't improve as fast as it could. A little reality check. Learning to draw doesn't take hours or days, it takes years. Successful artists don't draw a couple of hours once a week. They do it almost every day. That's commitment. So be honest with yourself. How much of your free time do you actually devote to drawing? An hour every day? Two hours every day on weekends? Or none at all really? The more you draw, the better you will get over time. It's as simple as that. Of course, we are all human, we can't draw 24 seven. But if you aren't improving fast enough, I urge you to take a deep look at how you're really spending your free time. And if you couldn't devote a little bit more of it to drawing. And remember, consistency beats everything. Drawing just 15 minutes every day is better than drawing two hours on weekends. The second reason why you're not improving in art is because you're maybe just not pushing yourself enough. You see, we as humans are creatures of habit, but a lot of our habits aren't that productive really. We often really seek the path of least resistance. And that, in turn, leads to pleasure above productivity. Why start a drawing session when you can just lie in bed watching some YouTube videos? I know the struggle. And why draw something completely new if you could just draw what you already can? After all, this way you already know that this drawing is probably going to be great, right? You need to challenge yourself. Drawing something you can't already draw will be a challenge at first, of course. But the reward of finally being able to draw something completely new or at least better than before will be worth it, trust me. The third reason is that you're just not attacking your weak points. Now this one kind of goes hand in hand with the second reason, but it goes one step further. To improve faster, you need to tackle your flaws. Practicing is great. The more you draw, the better you will get with time. But practicing effectively, that's a different story. So if you really want to improve fast, Consider actively working on your weak points. Just ask yourself, what can't I draw? Is it something specific like hands or feet or cars, cats, lamps, bats, women, children, smartphones, superheroes, action figures, landscapes, hard drives, pencils, girlfriends, doors, carpets, microphones, animals, pupils, geckos? Is it a certain aspect of drawing like perspective, proportions, anatomy? No matter what it is, attack it head on. The fourth reason is you are expecting too much too soon. Learning to draw is a marathon, not a sprint. With the right strategy, you can make big jumps and progress quickly. But even if you're doing everything right, if you're practicing perfectly every day, it will still take a long time to get really good. I'm not talking about weeks or months. I'm talking about years. You know, today people tend to say it takes 10,000 hours to master something. And even if that's not true, just consider for a moment that this was true that it really takes 10,000 hours. Just consider the following calculation. 10,000 hours divided by 24 hours is 417 days. That's 417 days of straight drawing practice. No sleeping, no eating, no going to the toilet, just practicing. And even if you practice one hour every day, that would still take you 27 and a half years. See where I'm going with this? But don't get me wrong, if you're really dedicated, you can still become a great artist in a couple of years. But real mastery, that requires year after year of focused practice. So have some patience and don't quit too soon. It just takes some time. Rome wasn't built in a day, right? And the fifth reason you are not getting better at drawing is because you're getting emotional. What do emotions have to do with drawing now? A lot, if you ask me. If you really want to get better at drawing faster, you need to be master of your own emotions. Now what do I mean by that? It just means that you can't always let your emotions get the better of you. Because here's what can happen if you do. You get really frustrated if your drawing doesn't turn out the way you wanted it to, and you quit too soon, you procrastinate and defer practicing because you associate bad feelings with it, or you could get overly happy if a drawing turns out great, but all the more sad if your next drawing isn't as good and you can't replicate that success. I think the most successful people at drawing, or any other skill really, are those that don't let their emotions control every decision they make. They think mostly rationally and don't act on their emotions all the time. Therefore, a great drawing doesn't make them too self-confident, but a few bad drawings don't throw them off track either. Now, if you are going to keep practicing, make sure to watch this video right here with 10 more drawing tips that will help you on your way.